Let's start by scrolling the timeline. You can scroll the video back and forward to find the impact frame precisely. Now select the golf ball with the cursor. There are several ways you can trace your shot. You can automatically track it. You can manually create a 3D trajectory by changing the parameters of the flight to reflect the physics of the golf ball, or you can quickly shape your shot with a simple Bezier curve interface. For the most accurate results, we recommend customizing the trajectory with our 3D builder. However, if your shot was filmed in good light conditions and from the proper angle behind the golfer, then you should give automatic tracking a shot. It might yield very good results with minimal effort. Let's select the automatic tracking for now. It takes a few seconds to track the trajectory and you can monitor the process. After the tracking is complete, you will see the first draft of your trace in the editor. Pay attention to its shape and the duration. You can see the duration in the timeline. Right now, it's seven seconds. You can scroll the video using the timeline to see how accurate the trace is. It looks very good, however. I believe the shot duration was shorter than seven seconds. Let's correct it by resizing the bar in the timeline. Now it looks like the landing point is a little off, so I'm going to go ahead and move it with the cursor. Let's switch to the horizon control to correct the ground plane. You can do so by dragging the screen up or down to adjust the horizon angle. It helps make the trace blend into the video more naturally and makes the trajectory look real. Now let's check the shape. I want it to be very precise. I can see that the trajectory should be a little higher than it is now. I can correct it by adjusting the gravity. Correct gravity by sliding the control left and right and try to make the line match the trajectory. Sometimes the angle of the shot is a little off, so let's correct it by moving the slider on the left. I'm satisfied with my trace. Let's press Next to move on to the next phase. It's time to configure how my line looks. I can switch the line style by selecting them in the toolbar. Let's also add a cool wave effect that makes my line run these dynamic color waves. I can also enter the distance of my shot to display the text along my line. Let's enter 100 and choose yards as my distance units. I can adjust the font size to make the text look bigger. I'm done with this shot. It's time to render the video.